welcome back to part two of the Prohibition style soap off or soap battle. The first video was over the five butter soap base. That was their original soap that they put out last year. And this is the, today we'll be pitting that performance against the performance of the premium vegan base. The scent on this one is Southside Fizz, lemon, or it's, no, excuse me. It's a lime, cucumber, and gin. Now this is a cucumber heavy scent. Um, I can smell the lime and the gin in the backdrop, but the it's it's the cucumber is dominant on top, so it's a good fresh scent. Um, so it smells like something I would like to drink in the summer. Um, and this it looks a lot more like traditional traditional hot press process soap here. Probably can't see it at all. The uh, if you recall the last video, if you watched it, the texture of that soap was very smooth and very hard, and I couldn't even dig any out or press a, a dent in it with my thumb. This on the other hand, is much softer. It is a, uh, it's pliable with the thumb, but it is firm. It's packed in there, so it's dense. But you can, you know, scoop some out with your hand, scoop some out with your hand, and put it in a bowl if you want to. So, I'm very excited to get to this today. This was also given to me for free by Prohibition Style, and they give it, they did a giveaway and gave away uh, several soaps. I think three or four, and uh, for review. And so I'm happy to do it today. So let's get it going. All right, I've wet my face, and I'm using a uh, fairly large size fan knot. I use a smaller fan knot for the first soap, but um, this one is a uh, tuxedo knot. It's a little bigger. I'm just going to load up here to show you the comparison. Now, I used the, the synthetic knot, and I, I loaded it for about a minute, and this one is already kind of going into the brush. I think this is going to be about a 15 second to 20 second load time. So you can see it's quite full. We're already uh, white wet my face, so get the first layer down. Now, looking at the ingredient list, I did notice that it still contains a lot of butters, like the five butter soap, but there are fewer um, ingredients overall. Um, someone pointed out to me, and I've actually heard this before, but in, in this soap and the uh, previous soap, uh, the component uh, olive oil butter is used and I've heard that that's pretty much just not that great of a soap ingredient um, as say like the other butter was other in it like shea mango all those so but so far it's um, coverage is good and I'm gonna wet it some it seems to be a little bit thirsty so contrary to the first soap this actually likes water I can already tell this is slick and it's got very good coverage. No dissipation at all. This stuff will cling to your skin. The scent is uh, mid strong, I'd say about a six and a half. And I don't think it uh I don't think it changes at all either. It seems to be about the same. If anything though, I feel like the lime at least the lime component and the gin are very faint lathered, so they're more a little more prominent before you lather, but it's uh, very much cucumber heavy. That's just about all I smell. Man. That's a slick coating. You see how good that looks on my skin. You can actually, in this bad lighting, you can actually see a shine to it. It's very good. So, on the previous video, uh, someone pointed out to me that the ingredients list looks suspiciously like one of those melt and pour soaps that you sent yourself, but you, and that like maybe uh, the soap base was actually bought from somewhere and then sent the scent and uh, vitamin E oil were added. So I, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to point accusations or stir anything up. But that's that was that was told to me. So I don't know if it's true or not. Um, if uh, Mr. Desjardins, the artisan, if he watches this video and cares to chime in, um, he can, but I'm not going to push it any further. Um, all I know is that I got a good shave from it, and this, I can't argue with this coverage here. I mean, it's thick in my brush. That was about 15 seconds, 15 to 20 second load time. Man, it is just, it looks like I've got paint all over my face, and it's not dissipating at all. It really likes this water. Um, I don't think I really need any more. All right, what the razor is, the same razor as last time. Gillette Fan Handle Tech with a Astro Blade. So, let's put it to the test. It's 
So I think this is very good. Residual slickness? I can't really tell. I mean, if I add water here, there's still some soapy film here, though, so I don't know if that counts as residual slickness, so I may have to test that after I've more completely rinsed my face. And maybe after the second pass, we can see. Okay, before I apply that second lather, I just wanted to make a statement about the residual slickness that I can say it's a lot better than the first uh, iteration of the soap. And my face is damp and I can still feel the lubrication on my face, so awesome. It's a definite improvement um, all around for that soap base. Um, it's super easy to lather, very nice, while still not very dense, but it has excellent coverage. It's like, you know, it's slick as snot. Um, it doesn't dissipate on you. Very easy to load and lather up your face. Um, it is not airy in the slightest. Complete night and day difference. With the other soap. I'm loving it. It's kind of growing on me too. I'm liking it more and more. Um, I've never used that more cucumber scented soap, but I do like lime. I do like summer scents a lot, citrus, lime. So I think a good aftershave pairing for this would be Paraso Green or um, for the more, you know, it's the, it has eucalyptus in it, but it does smell, you know, it has that green cucumbery accord. So that would go well with it. And I, I think I'm going to use Pinal Lime Sec today. All right. I've uh, finished the shave, I've applied my aftershave, Lime Sick by Pinaud Clubman. Um, terrific, it's a terrific compliment to this soap. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of lime in here anyway, but it's a terrific compliment to the cucumber. I love it. So keep that in mind if you've got some, use it with it if you ever try it. Um, I had a stellar shave. Um, this is one of the best shaves I've had in a long time, uh, probably since I used uh, Holy Cow Donkey Milk the last time. I think it's, this is an elite performer. I'm going to go out and say it. Um, if I had one knock against it at all, it's the inclusion of olive oil butter. And from what I know from just, I'm not a soap maker. Um, I'm going to try my own soap before too long, but from what I've heard from other soap makers, uh, that olive oil can actually inhibit the lather some, like it won't be as cushiony or voluminous. And while you saw that I had just effortless lather with it, it wasn't the thickest lather, but it had excellent coverage. It didn't dissipate or anything. It was so slick. Um, I had absolutely no irritation on my face. That red bump was already there, um, something I'm dealing with, but I went around it, nothing else, no sting from anything. This, this felt like I was putting scented water on my face. And no, no sting from the alcohol at all. Can't say enough good things about it though, other than that one little thing. Uh, so try them out for yourself. Um, the price point is a little steep, but I will, uh, I will get with Justin and see if the $20 price tag is in Canadian or American. And I think it's absolutely worth the price point, even if it isn't a 10. It's, it was just a phenomenal shave. Um, it was effortless. The glide was superior. Um, this is every bit as good as the any tallow soap out there. And it's, I would put it in my top three vegan bases, you know, Katie, Katie's Bubbles, uh, Luxury Soap, and Crown King. Um, this is absolutely in my top 10 performers at, at the moment. So. Um, I had a great shave. It was awesome. Don't sleep on Prohibition style. Um, try something out. Get a sample at least. Um, next time I will be using Summer Break Soaps. and Their new scents that came out actually today as I'm filming this. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you haven't. Comment below if you have anything to say about this soap or anything that I didn't say or did say. You know, interact with me. I love it. Um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.